हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू वेलनेस वेनेस डेज बाय योर ओन डॉक्टर देविका देशमुख एम डी आयुर्वेदिक फिजिशियन पंचकर्म एक्सपर्ट चीफ फिजिशियन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ केरला आयुर्वेदिक क्लिनिक विले पाले ईस्ट आई वेलकम यू ऑल अगेन ऑन दिस वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ लर्निंग टू नो मोर द मोर यू नो द मोर ऑप्शन यू गेट in order to understand your own body's mechanism and the ways that it functions so that you can take your own life decisions very precisely and correctly so today aajcha apla topic asnar ahe netra tarpanam or netra basti today's topic that i'm going to indulge in is netra tarpanam what is netra tarpanam uh netra means eyes and tarpanam means nourishment so when we are providing nourishment to our eyes uh, the treatment modality in ayurvedic science is called as netra tarpanam tarpanam is uh, very important because in our day to day activities as you have seen nowadays there is a lot of screen time that occurs right from the age of 2 year old where the uh, the kids are now encouraged to see more and more screens and there is no other option we are in a pandemic situation where going out still is at risk and that is why more and more learning more and more gaming more and more transactions and more and more um, connectivity is happening on the screens what happens then our eyes become dry they become dull they become itchy or they become watery you know i have many of my patients complaining about the same now that is why providing nourishment to our eyes is very important you already know that there are many food stuffs that give good um, good nourishment or good nutrition to our eyes like carrots and beets right vitamin a papayas there are so many good fruits that actually give good uh, ability of our eyes to see properly but at the same time there are some ayurvedic therapies that help our eye muscles to contract and relax better tone those internally giving us much relief so sometimes the dry eye problem or the problems like having spectacles you know the lens problems are resolved very easily by netra tarpana i have few of my very good patients who could even give good testimonials regarding how well netra tarpanam as a therapy has worked for them so let me take you to diagram of an eye to understand exactly what happens i have uh, shown a picture of the eye where you will see that if this is your eyeball this is the lens l okay lens is from where the image is inserted and where from where it is passed on to the retina then you can see and comprehend this is the iris in the sense now this is the gatekeeper of the eye okay for example i am the watchman of your building so whoever comes it filters out oh i am not going to let a thief inside push his back so the amount of light that reaches our eye this iris takes control of only how much should that go in that is why you will see that our pupils contract when there is a lot of light and our pupils dilate when there is less light so in darkness you will be like i want to search things i want to search things so your pupils will dilate okay so this part the iris is going to dilate and in bright light your eyes will suddenly be like this because it is your body's natural mechanism to protect the retina from getting damaged okay so now this retina over here is a screen where images are created okay this part over here if you can focus is a cornea this over here the black one okay now cornea is the transparent layer on your on the eye 
that is where you sometimes eyelash goes and you know you're taking out the eyelash from your eye sometimes it really pricks the watering of the eye happens it's that transparent coat it filters and keeps the dust away the pollution away and that is how your eye is protected okay sometimes if there you have scratches on the eye uh, cornea because of excessive rubbing or because of a particle which is gone inside then you cannot see very clearly it's a blurred image okay so lens is very well protected by the outer layers like this okay this is going to be the whiter layer and this iris is going to be the black part of your eye all right now the light enters your eyes like this these are the light waves the light waves they enter your eye through the gatekeepers that means the iris okay and it enters it goes to the lens and then it goes to the retina and where the image is formed so when the image is formed you can see very neatly but now you tell me how is it possible for everything to be nourished at the same time right sometimes when there are dry eyes this cornea part is thinned out so this becomes very thin okay and uh, that causes dry eyes so then when there is dry eyes there is either excessive watering or if you are dehydrated then that watering also does not occur so to prevent that dryness of the eye and to correct some of the refractive errors which occur at an early age like in kids who seven and eight years uh, they are about seven years or eight year old uh, jinki height achanak se increase hoti hai or fir then they complain of number like minus number or others what happens they have eye problems vision problems but then just by corrective ayurvedic therapies like netra tarpana netra seka we can easily correct that issue if it is new if it is within first 6 months that is why understanding your own eye is that important and not neglecting if something is going wrong with the eye is also equally important so whenever things happen to your eyes never neglect them even if it is a itch that is persistent or watering of eyes or dryness in the eye or you sometimes might feel that there is a material in the eye that you are not able to catch so for an object in the eye because in ayurveda among all the five indriyas that means so among the five sense organs imagine which organ is given the most importance what uh, we know that what are the sense organs skin right uh, that means touch tongue taste hearing ears vision or eyes and nose or smell but among all of these five sense organs the most importance is given to the eyes eyes are the most important one that means they rank number 1 among all the sense organs of our body so protecting the eyes is very important if you feel that you suddenly have blackout in front of your eyes or you're not able to see or there is there are uh, you know stars that sometimes you see there is something that you need to be concerned about and yes you need to show your ophthalmologist or an ayurvedic doctor who knows how to evaluate and take care of your eyes okay so today i am going to give you a demo of uh netra tarpanam as you know which is a therapy to nourish the eyes this is my consulting room and it is also a room of teaching and learning so 
International uh, Academy of Kerala Ayurveda, we present to you our teaching skills, we present to you Ayurvedic teaching and learning in order to improve your lifestyle. All of us know where we are going wrong, but how do we take ourselves back in track? How do we uh, imbibe young minds with the right things to do in order to take self-care? Is what I am here to teach all of you who are interested to learn. So here is my classroom and this is the blackboard. So every Sunday from 5 to 6 we will be taking classes where you will know hands on therapies and work that you can do at home in order to keep yourself healthy and fit. Alright, so now let us go to the therapy room which is just next uh, on the next on uh, this side in order to understand and learn how Netra Tarpanam works. Once you know how it works is exactly how you will come to know that it is important. We also have few of these therapies and among all these therapies today I am going to show you this one. If you can zoom in and see, this is Netra Tarpanam, this eye procedure. Okay, it is given in our pamphlet so you can definitely get to learn more. Yes, eye care therapy, Netra Tarpanam. Special Ayurvedic treatment for eye stress, dry eyes, computer eyes syndrome and dark circles around the eyes. Many, many women complain to me about dark circles around the eyes. Many men and women complain to me about uh, computer eye. So they are in front of the screen salon for such a long time that it is very difficult for the eyes to then function properly. So that is where this treatment comes in handy. Alright? So let us go to the other room in order to learn more. So come on in and follow me. This is our uh, passage where we, uh, we lead to the next room for therapy. Hello. So uh, today I'm going to show you a demo of what Netra Tarpanam looks like. Okay. Uh, for Netra Tarpanam, we usually give seven sessions in a row, one after another for seven days. Now, after the seven days of sessions is only when you start seeing the improvement. Uh, we have a therapist who is volunteering for us to be here for the demo. Can you get me the tray? In this tray, uh, I have put a lot of things which are helpful in order to understand the therapy. So this is the flower that we usually use in order to make a material which is just like dough, you know, or like clay, okay? But it is made up of plant-based powders. So you can use wheat flour, you can use maida, you can use black ground flour. There are many many different kinds of flour that we can use in order to make it sticky. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, this, uh, they, uh, like I mentioned, uh, the therapy named as Netra Sekam. So Netra Sekam therapies are, uh, is usually done using a, uh, a medicinal powder which is boiled and made into a decoction and now that decoction is then taken in a small vessel which is lukewarm then in that uh, now that lukewarm uh, decoction is taken in a cup in a uh, instrument like this and then with the closed eyes and coming on to a side the sekam or the dhara is poured on to the closed eyelid and this is how it is collected. Okay, so I'll be taking it and pouring it. I'll be taking it and pouring it over closed eyelids. Hmm? So once the eyelid is closed, you can nicely clean the eye very well. Okay, any issues related with your eyelids or any issues related with your eyelashes or eyebrows or anything around the eyes is very nicely clean using the therapy called as Netra Seka. Hmm? Now we'll move on to the therapy called as Netra Tarpanam. So in Netra Tarpanam, the first thing that we do is 
uh, we will definitely clean the face because a lot of females or a lot of uh, uh, males uh, they have either sweat or makeup on so we need to clean the face so we are doing all the cleansing using a wipe this is just a demo so I'm not going to ask her to use water or anything but we use a normal plain water to cleanse everything and we also sometimes use cleansing milk in order to cleanse if there is eye makeup and after the cleansing is done she is going to make a well around the eye like this if you can come in and zoom okay so a well is created around the eye like this and now this sticks to the skin okay and this is joint so once that is joined it becomes like a well and in between in, in inside that well the medicated ghee or medicated uh, dravya is put in it okay so once this is nice and joined then it doesn't slip away or it doesn't come down at all it sticks to the face and once it is stuck to the face that is when you will start pouring the warm ghee okay and the eyes of the uh, person need to be closed this is made into liquid then and then you pour it in once it is poured this is made into a liquid now this is condensed or solidified because of the winter but we usually warm it by keeping it in warm water we do not directly heat the ghee never directly heat the ghee you put it in warm water nicely it will liquefy and after it is liquefied only you pour it here and then you uh, we ask the, uh, the person to uh, do winking in the sense not exact winking by contracting your muscles but just opening your eye closing your eye opening your eye closing your eye okay now and after that we take that out again again new he is uh, filled in again that is taken out again new so three to four times that exchange occurs in both the eyes simultaneously right so after that is done all of it is done then we slowly remove these the oil is first removed the ghee is first removed uh, or the material that is filled is first removed and then these two things are taken away and then by a cotton we wipe off the remaining ghee that is surrounding the eye area when you open the eye initially it feels different because the ghee that we, is used acts like a lens like a medium correct so the person is seeing a blurred sky but then uh, as you close it again open it and close it what happens because of that the eye and all the cornea is nourished now all of these dravyas that we used are only and only pure ayurvedic they are uh, sterilized they are uh, just used for natal tarpanam so they should be decontaminated they should never be contaminated so once you use this you cannot reuse it so that's the thing we we'll discard that away now after that uh, we cleanse that and what we need to we usually tell the person is lie down for some time with your eyes closed okay and wear glasses wear goggles dark goggles so that the sunlight doesn't hit your eye directly we ask them to avoid bright screens we ask them to avoid getting into bright lights in order to protect your eye uh, watering uh, the nose watering is common is in common or your eyes watering after the treatment is a common thing because your eye is responding to the therapy that we are doing okay so once we are done with this thank you once we are done with natural tarpanam as a treatment next we go on to taking care of what else do we have to follow and how long do we have to do this netra tarpanam netra tarpanam treatment actually is done for 7 days in a row okay depending on what is going on with you and your body uh, we usually advise either 2 sessions or 3 sessions now one session is made up of 7 sittings okay 
so one session is seven sittings and then we take a gap and after a few months we again advise seven sittings that means one more session if need be uh, this actually gives your uh, muscular tone or the the muscles around this eye so let me draw here the muscles around the eye okay so this is the eye the muscles around the eye are actually going to be this oblique muscles okay the muscles which let the movement go up and down and the muscles which let the movement go right to left so during netra tarpanam we actually advise the patient to do these movements left right left right and then up down up down okay and also circular movements which actually tone up the oblique muscles of our eyes that means this movement so these movements are done while taking nidra tarpanam as a therapy okay so all of these muscles which surround the eyes they function very properly most of the times the eye issues are just resolved because of the muscular tension not being toned and they are drying up inside so when you give netra tarpanam as a therapy these dried up muscles again gain back their own strength and stamina and they start functioning properly and if you gain good benefits from this treatment then you don't have to do the second session again so one session is of seven therapies back to back and then the next one is done only if need be usually uh, that is how it works but if need be only then we give the first second or third session depending on the season again what we really advise is during this time there are certain principles of food that uh, we ask you to avoid taking and there are some foods that we ask you to take there are some activities like the eye exercises that we encourage you to do during this therapy and there are certain exercises like over exposure to light or exposure to heat that is what we avoid ask you to avoid and then there are certain other principles like basic lifestyle practices in the sense avoiding sleeping late uh, getting up a little early that is what we to advise and giving your eyes in a rest reading is okay but not reading on the screen so that is what we say the less the light goes inside the more relaxed your eye and your retina and all other muscles will feel in order to gain some more strength i hope today's session was fulfilling and i hope uh, that you definitely come in to experience netra tarpanam it is very good for young aged uh, you know kids who are just developing number on their eyes it's also helpful for people working on or for long hours on computers and it is also helpful for anyone with dark circles around the eyes this is not just an external therapy that would help we would definitely give an external therapy along with internal uh, medications we have good ayurvedic under eye creams over the eyelid uh, application gels we also have internal uh, medic medications that help with relieving dark circles dryness of the eyes eye itching and lot many problems sometimes we also see the problems of dandruff on the eyelashes so even that is taken care of so there are so many things to it so once you one thing at a time so today's demo was on uh, eye seka netra seka or netra dhara and netra basti that means netra tarpana where the well is created around the eyes in order to soothe your eye i hope today's session was helpful and if you have any questions regarding this please feel free feel free to reach me at 908 2772050 or kerala clinic 1 at gmail.com or dr dr devika d e v i k a k a c that is kerala medical clinic k a c at gmail.com dr d e v i k a k a c 
at gmail.com and we will be happy to take care of your queries. I also have a YouTube channel where you can subscribe and we will get information whatever you want about Ayurveda uh, on that channel. We are located at Prathna Samaj Road on Vilep in Vilepale East. We've just shifted from Nehru Road to Prathna Samaj Road. There is ample parking available here. So please come in to have a welcome drink and see for yourselves all these selfies. I will be more than happy to see you all in the upcoming new year on every Sunday between 5 to 6. It will give me immense joy to interact with all of you and get to learn more for ourselves and our family. We will have an interactive session where there will be practical demo as well as theory every Sunday 5 to 6 where we will learn about baby massage, pregnancy massage, senior citizens massage, chicken gunia special massage and foot massage or reflexology. Five Sundays of this uh, January 2021 with five new learnings. How amazing is that, right? So if you have an interest and or if anyone else is interested in your family, get them along with you. Give us a call and we will uh, enroll you in. And you can decide for yourselves whether you like it or not. Give us a feedback and I'll be more than happy to improvise and make it more easy for you. Alright, take care till then. See you. Bye-bye.